So that's Dalehead Tarn behind you, just below Dalehead. And I've been up close, I can't find anything with a decent background. So I've found this advantage point, um, slightly high above, see what I can find. I was going to shoot it with no foreground interest, um, but it just felt unbalanced. There's the three rocks, or three rock formations on the right hand side of the frame, and then the tower on the left, but I just think the, the fell on the right hand side uh, just tended to lean, it wasn't really um, flowing for me. So, I decided to add some depth to the image and added some foreground interest to the right hand side of the frame and then leads you on um, as a diagonal from bottom right up to top left and then back round again. Um, so yeah, played around with this thing, quite like it. Um, I tried landscape orientation, didn't really work, it's a more vertical vertical scene. The, the thing, the, the problem with the landscape image was there's too much bare space on the lower lower part of the image so turn it around, portrait, took all that out and I think it just blends in nicely. I'll let you into a secret here. You see that sky where there's a, a diagonal, the blue, and there's some opening in the clouds. I intentionally waited for that because I think it balances itself quite well with the foreground. See how the land slopes again from left to right? Almost a mirror to the sky. Makes all the difference sometimes. Now there's another town, not too far away from here, further southwest. My god, I'm wrong, I don't know. Called Launchy Town. I'm gonna explore that because it's a higher advantage point and there's some nice background uh, to the east, eastern fells and nice snow-capped mountains so I'm hopefully going to use them so let's take a look. So, after a short walk heading southeast, I found Launchy Town and quite an interesting background of the snow capped mountains, though not ideal. Launchy Town didn't deliver to me the foreground appeal that I wanted. It was just all messy and I couldn't find anything pleasing to the eye. So, I headed southwest and stumbled across some smaller bodies of water. But again, the creative side of my brain wasn't performing to its best. There's just no shapes that worked for me. Hmm, nearly found something here, but I couldn't find an angle to separate that tuft of grass on the left hand side. A nice mandarin line here, but no, nothing worked. This reflection looks very nice, but all I wanted to do by this time was reflect. Certainly getting fussier, much more selective recently. I didn't quite find um, the background to complement those weaving lines. Um, didn't quite work out, so I, I just moved on. I think it's it's as important to move on and not just shoot something just for the sake of it. I'm currently sat on a bed of rocks and some lovely formations actually. I'm closer to the background that I want 
and the snow-capped mountains there. I tell you what I've noticed recently, I'm not using my telephoto as much. If you remember last year, I, I bet the majority of my images were all telephoto, but now I'm using my wide angle. I, th I think that's from influence of watching others. Um, Greg Witten, for instance, uses a lot of foreground interest uh, while wide angle. And I quite like it. I think I'm going through a phase. God, that's bright, isn't it? Wow, I've just been zapped. The sun's coming out. Can I turn myself down? Let's have a look. But we can, can we? I think we can. Oh, sad one. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, wide angle. So I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and we'll work this little area, see what we can get from it. Um, yeah. Two shots, two shots I'm pretty, pretty pleased with. A wide angle shot and a telephoto shot. I searched for quite a long time just to get the right uh, rock formation, the right strata so it leads it into the background. I said the right one, there's probably better ones, um, but that's for, that's for another time. You'll probably never find them as well to be honest, but I like these. Uh, wide, wide angle first shot. I think 16 millimeter as well, and what I did, really exaggerated uh, the rock got pretty close actually um, and that also pulls in the bit of the background as well I had to photo stack uh, no option because um, the background just totally out of focus so I'm gonna have to blend those in Lightroom um, the colors start to turn a little bit uh, half a second exposure I believe as well so I'm quite pleased with that I filled the frame again diagonals I'm all over diagonals at the moment second shot guess what lens I'm gonna tell you for what else some lovely glow on the scaffold massive uh, I managed to capture that um, I'm gonna stitch them together it's gonna be a nice panel so that is it uh, it's done stopped blowing a hoolie. The light is quickly fading. Great session. I'm going to head back down to my car and uh, dry them all and suck these weirdy legs in a bath probably. Maybe nice on the show. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoyed it. Looks after it. Take care of yourself. Keep smiling. Until next time. 